what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the country Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife I'm so glad you're here And welcome to the weekend wrap up if you're new here, the weekend wrap up is where I take just bits and pieces and clips of our week, put it all into one video. We end up over on the couch where Bryant gives you a brief summary of his Sunday morning sermon. So welcome. If you're new here, I'd love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification, and don't forget to leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. So, all right, we're going to get started with this video. I'll pop in here frequently. And talk to you guys but first we're gonna start uh, you've probably already seen this first clip but I wanted to share it just to kind of lead up to where we some things we did this weekend so first we're gonna show my precious oak tree coming down
Tired. Tired. Thirsty. <laughs> Look who showed up to help us. And here we are at the final cleanup. They're just raking up the little bits and pieces. The family has worked super hard. Um, Isaac, Daniel, and Bryant worked hard yesterday getting the big stuff up and cut up. And so now we're just at the final countdown. Come help us, Leslie. I'm videoing. Huh? I'm videoing. <laughs> oh, we, we need another helper. Hey y'all, well it's the next day. I'll show you what I got at the jewelry thing. Uh, and tell you about that in a little bit. But first, we're here at the church. Uh, but we're going in the fellowship hall. Bryant's going up there to talk to some guys working on the front door. We're going to a birthday party. Little Ivy, if y'all remember when I went to Duke and saw Mr. Easton, uh, Ivy is Easton's sister. So we're going to go in here and say happy birthday. <laughs> Judah. Judah, go back. One more real fast. You and your crazy hair. Ivy, look at me. Look at her. Good job. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Did we get him? Yeah, I was doing video. Here's the jewelry I got. I got half silver and half gold. It's just very dainty. And so, yeah, that's it. I do, I am going to be getting an anklet, um, but I haven't done that yet. So, just thought I'd show you what I got. So we had a super wonderful weekend. The kids, everybody came. We worked on that tree. It was absolutely wonderful. Then Saturday, we were able to take my uncle, who is almost 91 years old. We were able to take him and his beautiful wife out to eat. And then we went to a Fiddler's Convention, which was super fun. And they love Fiddler's Conventions. And they had a great time. And so did we. It was an amazing weekend. So not only was this a special weekend, but at the Fiddler's Convention, I ran into a viewer, a subscriber, Natasha Jones. And I wanted to give her a big shout out on here. I did not get my picture made with her. I was just, my mind wasn't thinking. But anyway, um, she came up to me and I just wanted to tell her, I'm so glad she stopped me. She didn't come up to me. She stopped me as I was walking by. And I wanted to just tell her, thank you for speaking to me and tell her and her wonderful husband, hello. And thank you for subscribing and being a loyal viewer of the Farming Pastor's Wife. While I was there, I also ran into one of my very, very best friends ever on this earth and um, I wanted to show a picture. I haven't seen her in years. Now we've kept in touch on Facebook, but I haven't seen her in years. But let me share a picture real quick. That is my friend, Miss Julie Spencer Rayner. I am known her forever and I just love her so much and I'm so glad we reconnected and hopefully Bryant and I will be going to eat with her and her husband soon and 
we'll be sure to take you guys along for that. Okay, so this weekend has special meaning all the way around. If you follow me on Facebook, you saw that it is the sixth year anniversary of when my artery dissected right below my heart. The doctors gave up on me. The hospital gave up on me. Everybody gave up on me except the Lord and my husband and all those prayer warriors I had praying. It may have been you. You may have been praying for me. And it's a special time of year. Now, I am thankful every day that I wake up because good chances that I wouldn't have. But I am thankful every day that I wake up. But it's super special this time of year. I get to go back and look at all the Facebook memories. And this is the time of year that it happened. It happened on March 16th, 2018. I was a guest speaker and my artery dissected. And the Lord chose to leave me here. And I'm so glad he did. And I'm so glad that I can share about my story with you guys here on YouTube. But uh, I just wanted to give the Lord praise and an offering of praise right here on YouTube for sparing my life six years ago. And I know I could leave this world at any moment. And that's fine with me. But... Um, I'm so grateful that he left me here to continue doing his work. So anyway, all right, let's move on to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, welcome to Couch Talk. Hey everybody, hope you've had a great week. It has been a phenomenal, hardworking week here on the farm. Yes, it's <clears> been <throat> a big week. Yep, what all have we got done? Well, we cut down a tree. A big tree. And cleaned up the yard. I raked. He did. He worked hard. Isaac worked hard. Daniel worked hard. I got a blister. All the boys, Caroline, Jessica, we all came over and we all worked out there. It was a great day. Yep. Had a, had a really good weekend. Um, Saturday, we did a little bit of ministry work, not a whole, whole lot of ministry work. Focused on getting the yard cleaned up. What did you guys think about that strawberry cake that she borrowed the recipe from, from Fallon, Fallon over at uh, the Moss, Moss family. family. And uh, that was a delicious strawberry cake. The question I got on that cake a lot was, was it soggy? And it wasn't. It's no. like something in the jello made it firm up and it just, it wasn't like jello, but it was, um, it was firm. And okay. it tasted much like the best strawberry shortcake you've ever had. Yeah, so it was, it was really, really good. Yes, hey, what'd you, what'd you guys think about um, was the chicken nuggets this week? Chicken I nuggets was this week. Matter of yeah. fact, she had some viewers make that. Some viewers left comments. They made those and absolutely loved those. So good. They were really, really good. And like you could, you could mix that up and do it with barbecue potato chips, or we just particularly like the sour cream and onion. But you could do it with whatever your favorite flavor of potato chip is. And so uh, that was really good. What else? You remember? I don't remember. She's drawing a blank. It's we okay. had the Sam's haul. We went and did shopping at Sam's. Yep. 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 So, so yeah. But anyway, hey, today at church was a, a, a great time of worship together. Oh, the almond croissants. The almond croissants. We had those Friday night, a little jewelry party yep. that she had. That's, I struggle with that word. Jewelry. Jewelry. There you go. Yeah. You normally like to say jewel, jewelry. Jewelry. Yeah, yeah. Jewelry. But, anyway. but anyway, she made those almond croissants for a little party she had. And um, they're always really, really good. And, so good. Uh, Good sweet, good confectioner sugar, I think, on top, but mm -hmm. just really, really good. But today at church, had a great worship experience, good crowd, um, great energy there. Um, I dealt with today dealing with doubt. When I say that, I bet Thomas came to mind because it's Easter time and, and we're dealing with uh, the resurrection and things like that. But in Matthew chapter 28, the Bible talks about how the disciples gathered outside there at Galilee and they were there were some... That were doubting. Now the word "some" means more than one, and so uh, in this moment, the word "doubt" in the actual Greek means to be hesitant or wavering. And so, I and this word is only used twice in the Bible in the New Testament: once when Peter was walking on water and began to doubt and drown, or or to go underwater, and then the other was in this in this context and setting. So I dealt with dealing with doubt. How we all have those moments of wavering or challenging faith or hesitation to walk in and through some things. So I talked about the process of honoring God and walking through those seasons of difficulty um, without wavering and without hesitation. And I talked about three things which 
sometimes we all experience this wavering or hesitation. One is, is simply obeying God's will. And sometimes it's hard when God's will does not match our will. Um, it's really hard not to hesitate or to stop and ask questions and to call a time out and to walk through it blindlessly. OK. And the the other one was um, we talked about obeying God's will. We talked about the storms of life, how in the storms of life, there's difficulties, there's challenges, and sometimes there's wavering. Uh, and there's hesitation as well. And so when Peter walked through that storm, that's when he began to sink. When he get, took his eyes off of Christ, put his eyes on the storms, and he began to sink. And so we doubt, we, we talked about today simply this, that, that doubting uh, does not really decrease your faith, but it, it um, walking through that season of faith will help you work through your doubt. I can't remember the exact words that I used can't to remember. describe that, but but um, sometimes we think that doubt disqualifies our faith, but it doesn't. Okay, no. uh, it solidifies sometimes because we're able to <laughs> to work through the process and to let God receive the glory in His story as we work through those moments and working through those doubts strengthen. The quote our you faith. gave. The quote you gave was really good about um, the strongest faith is not a faith of no doubt. It's a faith that grows through, through doubt. our doubt. Yeah. So that was a really good. Yeah. So it was a good service. Yeah, it turned out really, really good. Yes. And, I, and I hope that in this season, that uh, as we prepare our hearts for Easter, one of the challenges that left, that created their hesitation and their wavering was there was a lie that was being circulated. It had just started that they had stolen Jesus from the tomb. The chief priest paid the soldiers to lie mm -hmm. about Jesus being stolen. And um, imagine if somebody was spreading falsehoods about you that may cause you to lose your life, that may cause you to be arrested, that may cause you to be permanently incarcerated. So I can see how they had a moment of wave, wavering and a moment of, of being challenged yeah. and, and hesitant so. hesitant yeah if your life's on the line you're going to hesitate <laughs> yeah. so yeah. hey hope this message encourages you if you've been hesitant or you've been wavering hey walk by faith not by sight let the lord work through those moments those storms those challenges uh where your will does not match his will and also too in those seasons where you have a lot of questions yep. all right guys that's it all right thank you so much for joining the farm and pastor's wife we can't wait to see you next week monday we have got to get Easter groceries for our Easter lunch. Two weeks away. So Monday will probably be a big Easter grocery haul. So. Tuesday is a dentist for a crown for me. Oh. Yeah, y'all may go with us. Oops. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> It'll come out the wash. All right, guys. We will see you next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all.